What's going on, guys? Yeah, it's Man here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Yeah, my throat's still a little messed up. I got a cough in my chest. I have to work tonight, unfortunately. And then go back in tomorrow morning at 9. Um, but that's it through the holiday season, which I'm not sure what I'm doing. But anyway, there's been reports backstage. Seth Rollins is now getting a lot of heat for remarks he made about Randy Orton, more so than John Cena. Uh... Rollins uh, continued to say that he is the future of the WWE. It's time for Randy Orton to go. Him and Cena have done their time. It's time to hang up the boots and move on. Now, what I need to say about this is, first off, uh, Mr. Seth Rollins, if it wasn't for the likes of Randy Orton and John Cena, you wouldn't be where you are today, for one thing. Um, and why do you think Orton and Cena have been in the spotlight for so long? Because they were such a huge draw for so many years. Now, granted, the crowd are, are less uh, positive reactive to John Cena. Um, Randy Orton still gets, you know, the so-so reaction as well. Now, if Randy Orton comes back as a babyface, he's going to get a huge pop. And Seth Rollins, uh, what you said about Randy Orton, you're going to see. If Randy Orton comes back as a babyface what kind of reaction the crowd's going to give him. And you mean to tell me it's time for him to, you know, to unlace his boots, take them off, retire, as well as John Cena? You have a cocky attitude. You are a great wrestler. Uh, no doubt in my mind you're going to be a big star here in the WWE. Uh, as a matter of fact, you already are a big star in the WWE. And I think um, your issue right now is that, you're just a tad below the Ortons and, and, and the John Cena's, and you want to be on top of the mountain. Um, to be on top of that mountain, let me tell you something. What you've done in the past uh, on wrestling shows and how you get your victories, you need to do them on your own, my friend. You have Noble and Mercury, your cronies, always you know backing you up, saving the day. Um, if a guy is that great, why does he need two cronies or former members of the authority to come in and help him get a victory? So it goes to show me, I mean, you're not maybe as good as you think you are yourself. So for your remarks about Randy Orton um, and John Cena, yeah, you're going to get backstage heat. You're going to hear it from Vince McMahon. I don't know so much about Triple H because he's, he's in the mode for pushing the younger guys. But have respect for the guys that have paved the way for you to come in. And these are the guys that help make you big by having matches with you. So you need to understand that. And, and don't discredit those two guys who have been in the WWE and done so much greatness for the WWE over all these years. You can never take that away from them. So if I were you, I would keep your remarks to yourself. Um, if everybody remembers a couple years ago, Dolph Ziggler made remarks about Cena. And look what happened to him. Now, I don't know whether the WWE will, you know, do anything to um, slow down the push of Seth Rollins uh, because he's been on a, you know, a train wreck ride, basically. He's been pushed so fast and so hard. And, you know, it seems like he was winning there for so for so very long that finally he got losses like at TLC. And then he gets a tainted victory on Monday Night Raw with the help of Brock Lesnar. Now... Be that as it may, um, prove yourself individually. Get rid of your cronies. Get some victories over people without any help. I mean, you've had a few here and there, but you need to do it on your own. You need to prove that you are the best in the WWE. And until you can prove that you are the best, you ought to keep your trap shut. This is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. That's my video for Thursday. Peace out, everybody. Enjoy.